Hello, this is Eric Bobro. In this ARCHICAD video tutorial, I'll show you some interesting ways to use the new column tool, multiple segment options, to create complex support elements in your project. Earlier today, I was teaching my ARCHICAD Best Practices 2020 training course and contrasting ARCHICAD 22 and earlier how the column dialog box looked with a single volume with various settings, comparing that to ARCHICAD 23, where although we have the option to do a single segment, we can now easily go and make it multiply segmented by adding multiple pieces. So here I've just created a series of pieces, each one potentially with a different shape, size, etc. If I take this one at the bottom, for example, and make it much bigger, you'll see how that all of a sudden changes its dimension. Each one of them is independently controlled. Now a very interesting application came to me when I was preparing to teach that class. I thought about in Master Template how in the Interactive Legends there is a there are some elements you can see peeking out here in the, the 3D window that are support posts uh, ornate combined out of multiple different elements, multiple different pieces, and we can actually do that in a single piece. Now just to give you context, the interactive legends here in Master Template are a way to have quick access to parts that you use frequently. So you can go in and literally just use the eyedropper and pick up the settings of elements and then go place them into your model design. Now in this lower area here we have some structural components including these profile combinations and so if I go to 3D here we'll see these different variations. Now what's interesting about them is that you can create them with a variety of different methods. For example, this is just a simple column, and this looks sort of like a column, but it's actually done with the mesh tool. So the same tool you'd use to create terrain, it's got a reference level out here, and then the instead of having a contour line, there's uh, an inner boundary line that's been raised up, just like contour lines can all be at different heights. Now this is one way to do a quick concept shape like this. You can use the morph tool. You can even use things like the wall tool here. So you can see this is a very a single side here. It's made with a wall tool and that wall tool has a three-quarter inch thickness so it's a piece of plywood and it's tilted just enough to make a nice tapered form when you put four of them together at ARCHICAD cleans it up. Now the problem with all of these is that they're made out of a whole bunch of pieces and it becomes a little hard to manage, particularly if you're trying to do something quickly for a concept design. And I realized that the multiple segment options in ARCHICAD 23 would be ideal for this. So let me go ahead and place this element here into 3D and we'll go and look at it in conjunction with the elements that are already placed. So you can see that this is the one that I was just playing with. I'll just change the overall height by using the pet palette and snap it, for example, to the same height as that one. Now as I work with it, I've defined multiple segments. I simply said add a, a bunch of segments. Now I can change the heights of each one of these by going to the little hotspot and using the pet palette to modify or move the segment join. And I can do that numerically or I can snap just like that. You can see how this upper segment now is the same thickness or height as the one uh, there. So I'll go and move each one of these to an appropriate level. And now we've got the five segments with the correct heights. But of course their dimensions are off. 
Now I can go into the column settings and change each of these dimensions, but it's actually nice to do it visually here in the 3D window. So I'll go and say edit. This is the same way as you would work with stairs, railings, or curtain walls. You have a single element that's made up of a bunch of pieces. When you go into edit mode, you can then select, for example, this piece here. And let's just make this go out a little beyond the edge of the lower piece. We'll select each one of these in turn. Oops. Select each one of these uh, pieces in turn. And we'll take this to 1 foot 10. And so I can very quickly start sketching the shapes. Now this one here, instead of if I uh, select just the segment, is going to be tapered. I can switch it from a, changing it from uniform to a tapered dimension. And for example, take the top part and make it a smaller square. Now I, I can make this non-square. I can uh, turn off the chain icon, but this is a very quick way of doing it. Now this lower one here, let's make that tapered as well. So I simply switch this on the fly uh, to this and we'll just make this a little bit tapered in there. Well, now we're getting a shape very similar to what we had. Now the heights of each one of these are set in the column settings and right now they're just proportions, they're certain percentages. But if I wanted to lock them in at a specific height then I can change that and say this is a fixed height, it's five and a half inches. Now it was very nicely and precisely set because I snapped to the other elements. Now this one is going to be whatever it needs to be because we're going to stretch the whole thing but keep the other lower ones all locked in at specific heights. So now having made this change, if I exit the edit mode I can then go perhaps and stretch this height and what you see what happens is when I stretch the height the bottom didn't change, the top change, uh, kept the same dimension and only this middle piece stretched. So let me undo that there. Now let's make it look a little bit more like the other ones by changing the settings for the surfaces. So I can change either the building material or the surface or both Let's go ahead and make this a stone ledger stone there. And then I'll select the next one up. Actually, I want to select this one here. And we'll take that and make it granite like that. So you can see that we can very easily set each one of these to have its own surface appearance and what it's made of. So. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial explaining some of the options that may not be obvious when you're working with the new column tool with its multiple segments. If you'd like to learn the best practices for getting the most benefit out of ARCHICAD and all of its powerful features, I invite you to check out my ARCHICAD Best Practices 2020 training course at archicadtraining.com forward slash 2020. This is the course that I'm revamping this year in 2020 to have everything all up to date. If you'd like to get my personal assistance on your ARCHICAD questions, you can be, do that as part of the ARCHICAD coaching program, which is available as part of the 2020 course, as well as as a separate purchase from archicadtraining.com forward slash coaching. And if you'd like to have the best template to start your projects efficiently and run them uh, to get the, your work out the door quickly and beautifully elegantly, then check out Master Template at actemplate.com. It's been my pleasure to bring you this ARCHICAD video tutorial today. This has been Eric Bobro. Thanks for watching.